this PC won't turn on when plugged in. Here's what happens. Now this power supply has some sort of indicator light. You can see it's flashing. You can hear. I don't know if you can hear that little clicking, pulsing. Uh, nothing happens when you push power. None of the fans are spinning. Hard drives aren't spinning. Nothing happens. It just clicks. And I don't know many tricks for fixing electronics, but this one was a little obvious to me. You can see how even after I unplugged it, the light's still going. This is a Best Tech power supply. Anyway, so I figured it was a capacitor. We're going to pop it open and take a look see if I'm right. What happens here is you'll see the light will finally start to die down until it stops blinking, it slows down. So let's uh, disconnect this and crack open the power supply and see what's going on. Alright, it didn't take too many screws, just a few around the edge. It'll take more than a minute to get this thing out. and. Uh, these are called capacitors and they're kind of like batteries they hold a charge and you can see there's lots of them these these there's tiny ones down there <clears throat> and they can be a little bit dangerous they do hold charges especially in the more powerful electronics you want to be careful um, but they uh, they're in almost everything that uh, uses power, even air conditioners, those can have capacitors as big as coke cans but um, one great thing about these is you can often diagnose problems without any electronic help. You can see right in the middle of the screen here is a capacitor with a little uh, rust colored stain on top and from the side, let's see if I can get a good angle here It's a little bit bulged, very slightly bulged, whereas normally, like these, they're, zoom in, they're totally flat. So that's perfect indication that that capacitor is bad. So when you melt the solder, you can just sort of rock the, the capacitor back and forth as it gets pulled out until it's disconnected there you go now this capacitor says Sixteen volts, twenty two hundred microfarads. So I'll show you which ones you can replace it with. Okay, here's the original. Um, the only things you need to know are the readings on it. The twenty two hundred needs to be exactly twenty two hundred. But the 16 volts could be higher than 16 volts if you don't have a capacitor that will uh, is an exact match. Right here is one that's an exact match in size and shape. Um, even this one is rolling everywhere. This one is huge compared to the other one and it's still the same readings. You can see the size difference there. And let's see, this one, it's uh, big and fat, so if you have room on the board to put it on, you could use this one. It's 35 volts, is enough to handle it. So again, it only needs 16, so if it has more voltage, you can use it. Here's another one, 25 volts. 
all these are just uh, capacitors I ripped off of a, another board. So because this is the same uh, size and shape, I'm just going to use this blue one and put it on. And when you put it on, it's just like a battery where there's a negative um, position and the negative has to go to the negative. So before you take it off, pay attention to which way it was facing. Sometimes the boards aren't marked. Um, so if you put it backwards, it won't work at all. And I'll put on a little more solder back on. Or a lot more. Too much. You can get little tools that suction this stuff out. It's like a little pen. Once you melt it, you push a little button and it does this little quick suction and if I had one I'd be using it but I don't do this very much at all so a lot of tools I could be using that I don't have oh man that is just too much uh, just tip it over and drip it out there we go now make sure that none of them are bleeding over where they shouldn't be. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks fine. Okay, so we'll just uh, hook it back up together and turn it on and see what happens. Alright, it's all put back together. I'm going to plug it in. Much better. See, this light indicates that it's getting power. It doesn't appear to be anything wrong now, so before I power it on, I'll close it all up and then hook it up to a monitor. Take another look. Alright, it works.